Hey guys, so this is my side garden. This is the east. Or is it west? Hold on. North. Yes, this is the east facing garden. Um, so along the driveway, we have three. Just, that's my son. Tucker, where are you going? And his one of his puppies, but we have three of the dynamite red crepe myrtles here that I planted last year, and the amount of growth that this one has put on this year is just crazy, but um, for some reason, two of them, the ones that I planted last year, did not bloom. I think that the fertilizer I gave them in the spring had too much nitrogen in it, honestly, because they do have a lot of pretty green leaves. A lot of green growth but no no blooms but i wanted to show you guys this middle one here that i planted this year um because i had a pink one here and the red and the pink it just i wanted it to be a uniform all red uh so we got another one this spring and it, it looked really sad so i cut it back like i gave it a haircut and it has come back tremendously and it's blooming and if you guys do not know about the dynamite reds they come out white like they start out white as they're opening like that one here which it's already turning red um I'm trying to see if there's any that are actually opening right now it doesn't look like it but they start out this white and then oh there's one and you're like, oh my gosh, I got a white crepe myrtle. This is the wrong kind. And then they turn to this glorious red. And it is gorgeous. Especially whenever some are coming out and some are in bloom. It, it looks like, like that. I mean, you got the white and then you got the red. And it's kind of like a pink, red, white. It's really pretty. So, <clears throat> I think I may end up cutting this stem just because it's coming out into the driveway here and i don't want that to happen because we do park cars here so i'll probably cut that one back to the base of the trunk or the <coughs> main trunk right there excuse me but um yeah these are a must they're they're great trees and um in the next video well actually i'll just go ahead and show you the rest of the side yard here so um in this bed we have a limelight hydrangea that i planted <clears throat> in the ground last year because that's when we moved in this is a new build so it was just a blank slate pretty much so i planted this one and i it is not blooming as much because i did do the pinching back this spring because I had quite a few broken branches that I had to to cut back and it was very open in this area here um so I pinched back pinched back because I wanted a fuller bush so next year it should look pretty good as long as more branches don't break over the winter then we have four of the sun hostas um along just kind of in a swoop here around that were around our flagpole but they were getting majorly um scorched by the sun they got sun all day morning till you know sun up till sundown and they they're sun loving hostas but they do not like the south alabama hot sun all day long so i moved them over here this probably loses sun around i want to say 11 30 in the afternoon so it's perfect and actually i may end up eventually um carrying on this this bed whenever i get out of school because at the moment I'm in nurse practitioner school. But once I get done with that, I may carry this bed on 
because we already kind of have a path going around here to our back porch over there. Um, so I figured, you know, I could do some really pretty hydrangeas because our back um, porch is north facing. So I'd like to just do a big, um, pretty hosta hydrangea bed back here one day. Um, and then make like a pebble stone pathway leading back to that porch from the driveway. So eventually you may see that, but for now my funds go to school. So um, kind of short on, or kind of, you know, don't have much to work with right now, but um, then we have our agapanthus or our lily of the nile that some are coming into bloom you can see there's some some new coming up some new shoots but there are also some that are kind of going out of bloom um they do slowly bloom as you can see there's still some that aren't in bloom at all so they just kind of start and then they slowly bloom up but they also already have some seed pods growing so these seed pods um, they will flatten like this one. This one's pretty flat. Well, kind of flat, but they will flatten out and fall to the ground. And if you let them flatten out and fall to the ground, then they will self propagate in our area. This is a zone eight B. Um, well, actually I'm on the border of A and B. So I'm just gonna say AB. Um, so they will self propagate in our area though. So I, I really just wanted this whole area to just be full of these beautiful, humongous, I mean, they're huge, agapanthus um, stalks. And then I think eventually I'm going to do a, um, maybe a small miniature boxwood hedge around the edge just to keep it you know more uniform tidy formal looking but that is the view that we have coming into our driveway so it's a, a nice pretty view uh but yeah that is it for the um east facing garden so I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.